My question is, does this force a crumble in the precipice of the the movie business? I don't think so. Mm-mm. Oh, good. Just as, and, and there is one precedent. Uh, uh, remember, in the days following nine eleven, uh, people stopped traveling for business, and they started. They didn't have Zoom, but you know there was already uh, something equivalent to FaceTime. Yep. And and people started saying, "Have a, a you know your video business conferences. Uh, don't do it in person." And that lasted for a little while until the, you know, the sense of urgency eventually subsided. Uh, so people still want to face each other for real. Mm-hmm. And in the same way, what this uh, experience has done is it's introduced everyone to streaming movies at home and television shows at home. Uh you know, people who hadn't done it yet, who hadn't hopped on that bandwagon yet, have now joined the crowd. But does that mean that the day, the eventual day that Marvel opens its next movie, Black Widow, on a on a Friday or late Thursday night going into a weekend, that millions of people won't want to go to a theater? And if there's theaters open, all of that. But it, it, does that mean they don't want to go out to experience a movie with a crowd of like-minded folks? I, I don't think so. Does that does anybody want to stay home twenty four seven? I don't think mm-hmm. so. Uh, now, will that mean it's even tougher for the indie movies yes. to survive? That's been true for for fifteen years. Uh, you know, the 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 theaters that specialize, uh, the theaters that come together for that art house convergence every year before the Sundance Film Festival uh, to compare notes and to help each other out, uh, with, you know, as they do, they, they've been struggling all along and fighting the good fight. Yeah. They're going to have to fight harder. 